Austin side. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today this is my brand new mountain bike that I got for Christmas. It's a very fancy mountain bike. Safety and security is something that everybody thinks about. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe, a home protection service for your home. We're gonna talk more about that near the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We want to be as safe as possible and protect this bike, so I went onto Amazon and I bought the five four toughest bike locks that you can possibly buy on Amazon. This looks like handcuffs. It looks like giant handcuffs for your bike. How tough are these bike locks really? We're gonna see which one is the toughest and which one Lincoln should use for his bike when he goes to school. This is Lincoln's lock that he's been using for a while. Let's test it with these uh, clipper thingy guys. Let's see if this will cut. Okay, so I've got it on there and then I'm just going to squeeze it. <laughs> That was ridiculously easy. So easy that even Lincoln can do it with his baby muscles. That's so easy. <laughs> this That's is so the easy. typical bike lock that you buy. On the inside, there's like 16 different wires or cables inside. They're very, very weak. So if you're trying to really keep your bike safe, it may not be worth it to buy the cheapest lock possible. Here we go. Okay, London, now squeeze it. Squeeze it all the way. Keep going, keep, keep going, you have it. <laughs> she really does almost have it, it's almost. Oh! I did it! <laughs> you did it! This is so easy that even a third grader that's eight years old, that's a girl with a Jojo Siwa bow in her hair, can cut in half. So really question your life decisions. If this is the bike lock that you're choosing to use for your kids with your expensive bikes, or even not expensive bikes, when you send them to school. London, thanks for the muscles. Okay, bye bye. bye. Lock number one is busted. What about the world's toughest locks? This bike lock is also used for motorcycles. I wonder if we can break it with this guy. Go ahead, try it's it. It's pretty strong. Oh, that's strong. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I think it passed the test for this guy. Did it make a dent? What did it do? A little bit on both sides, like it made a little bit. That one bike lock bent the metal on this tool. All right, we got a big old crack on the bottom just from that one hit. Oh, strong metal. It's pretty tough. We have confirmed the clippers nor the sledgehammer will work with this lock. There's one thing left. This is one that if somebody was going to a bike rack, they could just walk right up with this thing, cut something off, grab the bike and take off. So will an angle grinder cut through this master lock? Crazy tough looking guy. Minute? 30 seconds? 50, 20 seconds? It's loud. Like, Did it hurt my bike? Your bike looks okay. Yeah, your bike's fine. Your shocks are good. Yeah. It's almost like we're making a video like how to break into a bike. Yeah. It's not our intention. This one is intriguing. What is that? That's not a bike lock. Out of all of the bike locks that you just saw, this one is the most expensive, $135. This? Yes, it's titanium. More than this necklace? More than this giant kryptonite necklace. It's not yes. even that heavy. Fingers, Lincoln. Fingers are getting washed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Titanium right through that bad boy. It hurt my finger like it slid weird. It's like clamped on it. Sorry, but please. I saw this little spark. What was that? I heard it do like a little crinkle noise, but I thought maybe there's this plastic layer that's on it. But no, it just clean got it. No way. Do not buy this $135 lock. This is the most How expensive the one. Expensive? Good to know. Fail. On to the next one. <laughs> Kryptonite! Who uses the Kryptonite? Well, in Batman versus Superman, Batman used Kryptonite against Superman. This is what Batman uses against Superman. Hold that, Lincoln. I'm stealing Batman's bike. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I thought it did it. <laughs> it just came off. That one doesn't work. No good. <laughs> Kryptonite evolution. Go. The plastic is opening up on it. It just has the plastic that's around it, but the metal integrity of it is still strong, so. All right. Now for the hardest test of them all. How long do you think this is gonna take, Link? Um, three minutes. Three minutes? I'm gonna say less than 30 seconds. Stop the time. Not only did I make one incision, I cut two different sides of it and cut out an entire chunk section so that then you could just go, it's probably hot, let's see. It's a little bit hot. So then you could just like, go like that. No way! Pull it out. Dude, how long was that? Let me check this out. Ah, that's hot! <laughs> I just cut that whole thing out. That is so hot, I totally burned my finger. Oh, can I touch it? No, look, is that white? Whoa! That's burnt. I have no feeling there now. <laughs> Kryptonite. This is a uh, New York lock kryptonite. They're trying to tell me to forget about it. This guy's thick. I don't think this one's gonna work. Kind of I can't cool. even get it around it. Well, this one passed the first <laughs> test. I mean, I feel like it's come off a little bit right there. Oh, that's just a nice like plastic covering on the end of it. I thought I was making progress. But no, there's some heavy duty steel underneath that. Okay, this one passed the sledgehammer test. Lincoln, how long do you think it's gonna take? This one's gonna take 15 seconds. 36 seconds. Wow, all right. 36, did I say 36? 26 seconds. 26. We're through. It's not off the lock though. It's not like off of there. Kind of is. I mean, I could do the double cut like I did on the last one. There we go. That was beautiful. It just melted right off. Can you get it off the bike though? I should have done the second cut a lot wider. Boom! That's what we should have done for the beginning. And I accidentally made a second cut on that one. You're the winner. Well, we learned that there are some locks, like these two, that break very easily with just some like clipper type things. Then there are some that are a little bit stronger, like this guy, or like these ones. They are heavier, so it is a bit of a trade-off. An angle grinder can get through almost any piece of metal, any type of lock. I do like this one quite a bit. It's it, really cool. It, it looks... does look cool. There are also different ways to secure your family and your home and your possessions. We chose Simply Safe. Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security. It's all monitored by professionals 24 7 who will call you an emergency and send police if needed. It's really easy to use and really intuitive. I set it up in a short amount of time. We are building a house over the next year, and in the rental home that we're living in right now, they don't let us put screws into the walls. All of the different sensors, the monitors, they were all able to go on with stickers other than the doorbell. But the doorbell, I was able to use the screw holes that were already there from the traditional doorbell. Now with Simply Safe, we have a doorbell that records everybody that comes up, whether they push the doorbell or not, we're already seeing them. We even have sensors for carbon monoxide or for water if water leaks in different places, and it will monitor that whether we're home or not. Simply Safe has fair and honest prices with no contracts or hidden fees, so you're not stuck into some long-term contract on your security system. And it's equipped for the worst case scenarios, like if your Wi-Fi goes out or your power goes out. And a lot of the features I really like, like I hear a little chime inside the main room that tells me that one of the doors is open. It's like these really thoughtful features that like, hey, your door is open. Go shut your door. So whether you're renting a home or you own a home, I definitely recommend Simply Safe. It's worked great for our family. If you would like to learn more about it, you can go to simplysafe.com slash what's inside and you can get all the information. We'll put the link in the description. Thank you, Simply Safe, for sponsoring this video. We learned a lot today about safety, what's safe and what's not. Yeah, like these, uh, not the safest, but yeah. those ones, yeah, pretty safe. Let us know in the comments which bike lock you like the most and which one would you actually buy. This is what it looks like when a thief is coming to your doorbell. See, I can totally see him. It's recording it. 
Chris Lincoln. <laughs>